Imagine a lineup of Jose Canseco, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, and Rafael Palmero in succession with nearly 2,200 career home runs between them. Today it was reality as they all shared the same bench along with Kurt Schilling and Frank Thomas via satellite, each of them facing the House Government Reform Committee in Washington, D.C., facing questions about steroids and baseball. It has been said that this meeting is not about prosecution or individual use. If that were true, granting immunity to me should not be an issue. Although I have nothing to hide, and although my answers to your questions will be helpful in resolving uncertainties and issues facing this committee, because of my fear of future prosecution for probation violations or other unrelated charges, I cannot be totally candid with this committee. That when appropriate, will invoke the protections offered me by the Fifth Amendment. This is unfortunate that a committee chose not to grant me this request, especially since I have been the only player, a member of baseball, who did not fight to request appear here today. It is unfortunate the committee has made this decision as we will not be able to fully investigate the steroid issue without all testimony, and the issue will continue to plague the sport. Everything I heard about steroids and human growth hormones is that they are very bad for you, even lethal. I would never put anything dangerous like that in my body, nor would I encourage other people to use illegal performance enhancing drugs. To be clear, I have never taken illegal performance enhancing drugs. I have never injected myself or had anyone inject me with anything. I retired from baseball four years ago. I live a quiet life with my wife and children. I've always been a team player. I've never been a person who spread rumors or said things about teammates that can hurt them. I do not sit in judgment of other players, whether it deals with their sexual preference, their marital problems, or other personal habits, including whether or not they use chemical substance. That has never been my style, and I do not intend to change this just because the cameras are turned on. Nor do I intend to dignify Mr. Canseco's book. It should be, it should be enough that you consider the source of the statements in the book, and that many inconsistencies and contradictions have already been raised. I've been advised that my testimony here could be used to harm friends and respected teammates, or that some ambitious prosecutor can use convicted criminals who would do and say anything to solve their own problems and create jeopardy for my friends. Asking me or any other player to answer questions about who took steroids in front of television cameras will not solve the problem. If a player answers no, he simply will not be believed. If he answers yes, he risks public scorn and endless government investigations. My lawyers have advised me that I cannot answer these questions without jeopardizing my friends, my family, and myself. Let me start by telling you this. I have never used steroids, period. I do not know how to say it any more clearly than that. Never. The reference to me in Mr. Canseco's book is absolutely false. I am against the use of steroids. I don't think athletes should use steroids, and I don't think our kids should use them. The point of view is one, unfortunately, that is not shared by our former colleague, Jose Canseco. Mr. Canseco is an unashamed advocate for increased steroid use by all athletes. While I don't profess to have the medical expertise to adequately describe the dangers of steroid use, I do believe I have the expertise to comment on whether steroids are necessary to excel in athletics. I think it is critical to convey to the youth who desire to excel in sports that steroids are not the answer, that steroids are not necessary in order to excel in any athletic event, and that success is achieved through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. I also hope that by being here I can raise a level of awareness on several other fronts. First, I hope the committee recognizes the danger of possibly glorifying the so-called author scheduled to testify today or by indirectly assisting him to sell more books through his claim that what he was doing is somehow good for this country or the game of baseball. A book which devotes hundreds of pages to glorifying steroid usage and which contends that steroid usage is justified and will be the norm in the country in several years is a disgrace 
was written irresponsibly and sends exactly the opposite message that needs to be sent to kids. The allegations made in that book, the attempts to smear the names of players, both past and present, having been made by one who for years vehemently denied steroid use, should be seen for what they are, an attempt to make money at the expense of others. I hope we come out of this proceeding aware that we are dealing with when we talk about that so-called author and that we not create a buzz that results in young athletes buying the book and being misled on the issues and dangers of steroids. I also believe the League and the Players Association have done the right thing by reopening our collective bargaining agreement and strengthening our policy on drug testing. I support this new policy as a very good first step in eliminating steroid use for the sport I love. I have been a Major League Baseball player for 15 years and throughout my career I have never ever used steroids. As I understand it, both Mr. Schilling, Mr. Thomas, and Mr. Palmaro, and I think Mr. Sosa, have said they never used the substances. Um, uh, is that right, Mr. Sosa? You said that, right? You said you never? Okay. <laughs> Mr. McGuire, would you like to comment on that? I didn't, I didn't get a definitive answer. I didn't hear you say anything about it. Now, you don't have to. I just ask. You don't want to comment? Are you taking the fifth? I'm not here to discuss the past. I'm here to, to be positive about this subject. My message is that steroids is, is bad. Don't do them. It's a bad message. And I'm here because of that. And I want to tell everybody that I will do everything I can, if you allow me, to turn this into a positive. There's so much negativity set out here. We need to start talking about positive things here. How do you know they're bad? Pardon me? Your message is coming from professional baseball. Would you say that perhaps you've known people that, are, that have taken steroids and, and that you've seen the ill effects on that? Or would your message be that you've seen the direct effects of steroids? Well, I've accepted by my attorney's advice not to comment on this issue. It is um, rather an infamous occurrence that in the year you were you were breaking the home run record. A bottle of Andro was seen in your in your locker. My question to you is: Your position now says the use of that product, which is now illegal, but was not then. How did you get to that point where that was what you were using to prepare yourself to play? And if you could tell this committee how you ended up half time left, I'd like to know if other players have similar experiences. Um, I think that would help us understand what you all live in. Well, sir, I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm, talk I'm here to talk about the positive and not the negative about this issue. Were you ever counseled that uh, precursors or designer steroids um, might have the same impact? I'm not here to talk about the past. Uh, we've had, uh, you've made some, some allegations, and as I understand it, both Mr. Schilling, Mr. Thomas, and Mr. Palmaro, and I think Mr. Sosa, have said they never used the substances. Um, uh, is that right, Mr. Sosa? You said that, right? You said you didn't never? Okay. <laughs> is that right? I, I, all right. Now, Mr. McGuire, would you like to comment on that? I didn't, I didn't get a definitive answer. I didn't hear you say anything about it. You don't have to. I just ask. You don't want to comment? Are you taking the fifth? I'm not here to discuss the past. I'm here to, to be positive about this subject. I'm trying to be positive, too. But just a few minutes ago, I watched you as tears. No, no, no. I, got, I need to be able to answer my question. Well, the, the, I think the gentleman in his opening statement made it clear that uh, he, he... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm making a statement. I'm just telling him something. I, I, I listen, I sit here, and I almost got tears in my eyes watching you testify. And, you know, the thing that I guess I'm, I'm curious about is that, you know, it's one thing to, to say that we want to help. It's a whole other thing when those parents are sitting, by the way, directly behind you, and then they wonder, is this real? And I guess, you know, my question is, uh, you said something about your foundation and trying to help out. Tell us exactly what it is you plan for your foundation to do. I will, uh, right now? Yeah, that's I'm talking about the present and the future, as you said. Well, my foundation helps out neglected and abused children. I'm going to redirect it. We have not talked about it, but I'm going to redirect 
about this subject. And you are you going to you're willing to be a national spokesman against steroids? See, we've got all these high school kids that are, have, are emulating you all, although you're out of the game now. They still look up to uh, um, McGuire and, and, and others. And so you, I think you said you're willing to be a national spokesman? I'd be a great one. So that means you would do it? Be a spokesperson? Yes. Absolutely. Now it's Mark McGuire's turn to take over here in St. Louis as he will peel off number three. Final season here at Bush Stadium. Direct your attention to the right field outfield wall where Bush Beer has installed a countdown to show the number of regular season games remaining at Bush. Awaiting the arrival of Mark McGuire. Well, you know, the new ballpark, so there'll be more elevators. Here we go. Here to change the countdown from number three to number two, Mark McGuire. Thank you, Mark, for being a part of Bush Stadium's final year. Leading off, pitcher Luke Hudson. So we move to the sixth inning here in St. Louis. Mark McGuire fields off number three. Red Shandy still to go. Ozzie Smith at number one. Mark was holding his youngest son who's 20 months old and his wife Stephanie had uh, a little older one and Mark also told me today he says Matt is 18. Take part in the Bush Stadium. Here's the change countdown from number three to number two Mark McGuire. Some booth. Nick so Nick's responsibly cheers some booth as he tears down the number three just two games remaining at Bush after Friday, but, well, there's still a grand slam in the yard. Albert Pujols, 40th home run of the year, 200th of his career. Cardinals go on to a 10th or 12th, 6th victory. Manager remained a touchy subject. Mark certainly had some great moments here. He'll be turning down the numbers tonight. What type of reception do you think he'll get? I'll see all those. That question shouldn't even be asked. Uh, I we have a positive season in the great four-year history. Any remaining questions about McGuire's reception were answered by St. Louis fans after the fifth inning. <laughs> McGuire helped count down the final days for Bush Stadium. He also made his first public comment 
since testifying before Congress. A number of people have wondered why you didn't say more to Congress. Uh, at any point, will you elaborate on your testimony? No. Because when I left, uh, when I left there, I left it there. And uh, the statement that I made there, I made it from my heart. And that's as far as it's going to go. You know, and I think I'm a very positive person. Uh, we, should must, we should move on from this, especially the media. And uh, that's right, buddy, huh? So that's really about it. That's all I'm going to do. When you were there, you said that you were not going to know. When you were there, you said you would welcome the opportunity to be a spokesperson again at steroids. Why haven't you spoken that's out better. more? Listen. What I did there, which is my statement, is my statement, and that's it. Um, and, and that's the last time I'm going to talk about it. But it won't be McGuire's last appearance here. He is scheduled to take part in Sunday's ceremonies for the last ever regular season game at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. John Barr.